I, I, I mean, I was in love with it. I, I, I thought Francis had been telling me about the story for a few years, so I knew, you know, I knew about the book Red Sparrow. I knew that it was written by an ex-CIA agent who's been about 30 years specializing in U.S.-Russian relations. So, I already thought that it was, uh, that that it was really interesting. And then, and then when I read it, it's just such a unique perspective into a, a spy's life. You know, it's not just about, you know, the guns and the and the action. It's it's really about the human mm -hmm. side of of what goes into living a, a double life. Um, and as soon as I read it, I, I, ju I just had to do it. And working with Francis again it was just, it was amazing. I mean, he's the only person, I obviously adore him personally, and he's a very dear friend of mine, but this is the kind of movie that, done by an absolute artist like Francis Lawrence, mm -hmm. it just takes it to a different level. He just, if anybody can handle this kind of, dark material and make it artistic and beautiful and unique. It's Francis. Well, she's put into this terrible situation after an injury ends her career at the Bolshoi where she's forced to choose between protecting her family and her own allegiance to her country. Honestly, the hardest scene was the ballet. I, I, I trained for four months every day for three hours just to learn one dance, which really puts into perspective how hard, how amazing ba ballerinas are. Um, and when we finally finished that, I've never been so happy to finish something in my life. It was incredibly difficult. <laughs> no, you know, I, I really feel more like my job as an actor is, is, is to just you know, you have to connect with a character. It has to be a story that you feel passionate about telling. And sometimes that's a very strong character because with a strong character normally comes an interesting story. But I definitely don't think that that's the, that those are the only interesting characters that exist, you know. And, and Mother, my character, was soft-spoken and, and meek and quiet and, and, and ignored most of the time. Mm -hmm. And I didn't feel um, irresponsible by any means of playing that character. It was, you know, who's more ignored than a soft-spoken woman? <laughs> of course. Yeah, I've, I've really always had kind of this consistent passion of, you know, I grew up in, in Indies, or at least in my career, mm -hmm. um, with independent films, and I really want to get back to making independence and also finding new directors and new actors because I remember when I was just, was just starting out it was like this catch-22 you could only really book a job if you were already known and you can't get known unless you are, have already booked a job and there's so much talent out there that's waiting to be explored and I really that that really is a passion of mine Um, I mean, in the next year, I'll still be developing movies and still be working. Mm -hmm. I just won't be filming anything. But I'm going to be traveling around the United States to try to talk to just young people about getting engaged politically on a local level. And, and hopefully, we'll be able to pass state-by-state -state laws that can help prevent corruption in our government so that when we elect officials into office, they're, they're voting and working for us instead of the 0.1% of the billionaires that got them there.